gonna open. Hi. Who's there? Hi. Knock knock. Who's there? <laughs> Who's in the cupboard? Hi. Hi my angels. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to this week cleaning motivation and inspiration. It's a pleasure for me. And today focus is going to be something that I haven't been doing on my channel. It is going to be something like cupboard organizing, kitchen cupboard organizing, like pantry, but because I haven't got any like spare room where to put all those things. So I'm going to try to organize this area here. I have been doing this about a couple of months ago, but when I open the door for you now, you will see that it's an absolute disaster. And uh, yeah, I have to do something because my cupboards here in the kitchen uh, that I want to do today are corner cupboards. And of course, you know, what you put in front, you use it the most. What you put in the corner, you basically forgot about it in a couple of weeks and it started being such a mishmash inside and because this is probably the cupboard that my kids use the most because I got all the crisps there, all the sweet things like uh, chocolate bars, like something uh, like single packs for school lunch boxes etc. So it's absolutely upside down inside and I hope to be able to inspire you because even I still haven't got exactly a clear idea what to do but I know that when I start doing something like this I have to empty the entire cupboard to get rid of the things that are expired for example or just they start becoming like damp because if they are open like any sugar packs or something like this and I went to B&M uh, two days ago and I bought these two baskets and I already got two of them inside but I have to organize and reorganize them as well and yeah I would like to make this in a budget I mean of course you can do it probably a lot better that I'm gonna be doing it but I would like it to be in a budget on a budget because those baskets I think they were 150 or 199 each I'm not sure maybe 150 I think each and they are pretty decent size they are deep enough to collect everything I saw some that I like a little bit more than those but they were just like maybe like paper trees or something like this they were just absolutely not suitable for what I wanted them to be and yeah so let's do it on a budget let's get inspired let's start doing it together and let me open here for you and this is the proper disaster that I was talking about those are the two baskets that I already got, but unfortunately, after using them a lot, it starts being like the same messy situation. And I definitely need to get rid of some of the things. And I think, oh, what a lovely hole we got here. Okay, doesn't matter. Uh, and I'm gonna try to find some light to put it inside so it's gonna be a lot easier for you to see what is happening here okay so I got my husband's working light and I want to show you what is the situation here to the end of the cupboard lots of boxes that just this and yep let's go here as well okay so we got here and I think everything here is even messier and basically every single time when I need to find something 
maybe I have to come with the same light. As you can see, it's super slow corner and I'm going to start taking out everything from the top shelf. Like this. I might start using them if I have something like this with square time to put it here. Some icing sugar, cocoa powder. Not the most comfortable position here but i want to just share with you quickly something that i bought from bnm when i was there two days ago i think this is elbow grease but they came up with power paste tough cleaning paste i tried it just once yesterday and i'm super impressed of this product it's really different than the other pastes on the market I think because I used to use the pink stuff paste and what was the other one a stonish paste this is a lot I wanted to say a lot creamier but I didn't want to do this I didn't want to do this miserable thing okay obviously guys you saw that it's a lot a lot creamier but it's cleaning just amazingly. I'm super impressed with this product and it was definitely less than a pound. It is super impressive product. And I just saw some stain marks here. Yeah, I'm here. Uh, I don't know what are they from. And it smells so lovely. It uh, got a lemon fresh sand and it really smells so lovely and I want to give this cover the good clean like everywhere 
and then when I finish I'm gonna clean the door because I can see some stains here but if I clean them now I'm gonna make myself dirty okay this and clean underneath it as well okay and then i'm gonna clean it with a clean microfiber cloth to start doing now is to organize it and to put it in order okay a little bit here a little bit there just to be sure that there are not any spider webs whatsoever perfect so guys this is the current situation this is the staff and something up here and the books up there so this is the stuff that came out of the cupboard and now bless me i have to start organizing it i'm gonna take an empty bag and i will put in this bag whatever i think that i may not use or something that is like super old like for example this chocolate eggs from easter i definitely think that i'm not gonna use them anymore i don't mind to bin the thing because i prefer to bin them than to give them to the kids and if things happen i will blame myself forever I don't know where to start from. So, uh, this was the basket that I already got. So, I think I maybe need to check what's in the basket. Lots of biscuits, lots of sweet things. This is something super old. Unfortunately, when you leave like biscuits or any crackers open for a bit of a time, they become like a little bit salty and not so enjoyable. And this. I'm gonna open this. Look like open chocolate. And no one is ever gonna eat this open chocolate. Crisps. Bounty. Another open chocolate. Coffee that I'm never gonna drink.
This is the final result. The top back. Yo. Okay, I need to wash this out and I'll come back. better like this guys I went upstairs to change my jumper because I was feeling cold this morning but now when I started working and doing something I was just boiling okay so let's start doing them yesterday I went to Poundland just to restock a couple of things for the kids so I came with this Kinder Happy Hippo, they really love them. I'm gonna keep them in the original boxes because they are still cool. This Kit Kat White Chocolate. Oh, what else how can I store them? I don't know how can I store them. They really like um, as well this Cadbury Timeout Waffers. from any package like this you don't need to buy any additional tray and to put tray in a tray in a tray and whatsoever <laughs> that I used to cook with or to make any cakes with them but when I open them I used to repack them like this so this is called this thing from little the other day and another biscuit coconut rings from Sainsbury's that I used to cook with I don't like them being like this because it starts being the same situation where you can't see anything okay so this is the sweet one I'll move it and I'll come to the salty one. So this is my cereal jar. As you already can see, there are a couple of different ones. And we got a couple of it. Hi. And I wanna, okay, doesn't matter, something's happened with the lid. So I got this jar from Ikea, it's super cute, super nice, and I used to keep it in my dining table. And it was super cheap, I think it was one pound or one fifty, I couldn't believe that I saw um. a jar with this size of this size. Oh. Stupid. No, it's supposed to come off. Ew. Look, now it's shorter. Okay, so I was on my way to put them, but now it's now awful. Never mind, I won't eat it. Yeah, so changing the plans, I was on my way to fill the can jar. Can this? Yeah, you can. But, but when I open those cereals, they smell like, like an old... Uh, old oil or something like 
So guys, the conclusion that I came up with by not even the end of the video is clean your cupboards a little bit more often because then you have to get rid of so much food. So I definitely regret that I didn't clean the drawers, uh, the, the cupboards a bit more often. So let me open this as well. This is garlic and herb croutons. Okay, they still smell good. Some more biscuits cooking. Are you eating this? Yes, but now I'm eating this. Okay. And this is the other thing that I bought for um, school lunch boxes. This Jimmy Dodger's mini raspberry biscuits. I'm gonna leave them. No, anyway, I'll have to open them for the upcoming week, two weeks, so I will have to use them. I think I'm ready with those two baskets. I want to quickly check what is the situation here. So, the same bad thing is happening to the... Um, My cones? Cones, yeah, unfortunately, like when you leave them, okay, when you leave them for a long time, uh, <coughs> they start being, you know, looks up how chewy and they are not good anymore. Yeah, unfortunately, they are not crispy anymore, <coughs> they are not what they supposed to be. But I'll keep those because they are still unopened. So I stepped just now. I'm gonna get rid of those biscuits because I told you the problem with the corner cupboards. Oh. You find something for Christmas, but from last Christmas. <laughs> it's nearly Christmas 2020 and I still keep them. Oh my gosh. It's gonna be 2021. I don't wanna eat them. Can I have a sip? Uh, no, thank you. <laughs> so...
to store it. Am I ready basically? No, I saw something else here. Ouch, ouch. Oh, my hand. Ready to start organizing this shelf as well. But first, coffee. And then I can continue and because I saw that some of the jars are a little bit like it's not exactly dusty because they are not dusty but dirty so I clean them first <sighs> situation in my kitchen obviously we like to cook a lot and you can't see a lot of like um, prepare stuff or how to see this I got some more croutons here those are the last that we bought and as you can see I repack them in another bag So this is another box that I already uh, got, uh, basket I already got. Here in this box from last year is shortbread assortment. I used to keep all my uh, stocks, all the bouillons that I love to use when I'm cooking, but it's a lot more organized to keep them like this. And 
look at the situation here. <laughs> it so well so you're not scared to go in yep because there was bugs and spiders yep is the final result everything is sorted out in baskets maybe it's not the right place for this one here but I'm gonna find a place for it I'm so satisfied of the result guys let me show you with a bit of a light here as well we've got everything super well sorted out everything is in the right place we got some crisps here we got some sweet here we got the cooking box there we got some daily stuff that i use <clears throat> maybe if i got some more space of course if you got a bigger cupboard or something like this but it's 
it's gonna be just uh, useless not to fill the the, um, the empty space here but to leave it like just presentable yeah so here it is here I got just a basic things that I use on a daily basis some spices there some already open like rice and beans and lentil here in this basket and yep that's it i'm so happy of the result and i really hope that i was able to motivate and inspire you so about an hour hour and a half later uh, but i was definitely not rushing guys if i if i was in a rush i think that maybe i would have put this cupboard in order in about 40 minutes 40 to 50 minutes so that's the final result uh this bag full of empty expired or just rubbish things that i want to get rid of and another box here as well and i left this to cook tonight i decided to i was just looking for an inspiration uh yeah and i found this what is this actually this is a dry sauce or whatever it is uh but i'm gonna cook it with chicken tonight so yeah i'm just unfreezing uh chicken from my freezer and yeah that's basically everything i'm super super satisfied of the result i'm really happy of how my cupboard turns out and yeah actually it's so easy now to find whatever you are looking for it's so easy to grab and not to leave anything to expire anymore and i definitely think and i would suggest you <laughs> To do this as often as you think the cupboard needs to be put in order because otherwise you are ending up with just throwing away so much stuff which is basically unnecessary so yeah thank you so much for watching guys i really hope that i was able to inspire you for the week ahead and i'll be happy to see you in my next one bye